Hey fam, Marshawn Alanio here. I am here to ask you a question. How many of you are sick and tired of being sick and tired? How many of you out there are ready to say yes to yourself? You're ready to say yes to your life. You're ready to say yes to your relationship. You're ready to just show up and be all of you. Show all of yourself without any fear without any worry, without any, are they gonna judge me? How many of you are ready to say yes to yourself? And this topic actually came from a book that I'm reading, which I'll do a book review on in the next few days called The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. And she goes into a year of her making sure that she says yes to herself, saying yes to everything in her life. And yes, I am talking about that Shonda Rhimes, Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder. Yes, that Shonda Rhimes. I'm reading her book currently and I'm just about finished. And so this is where this material has come from today because she made so many great points in there like she's making sure that she's in a relationship with herself and she's making sure that she's nurturing a relationship with her kids and she's making sure that she's nurturing the relationship with her staff and everybody but most importantly the relationship with herself the relationship with the food that she eats the relationship with her body weight just her showing up and saying yes to her life and that brings me here today to ask you are you ready to say yes to you are you ready to say yes to your life are you ready to say yes to your relationship or the relationship that you want to create and so I have several things that I want you to think about take into your life ponder on and then start to change these things around because you come in come in you are a part of the problem that you are having, but guess what? You are also your own solution. Let me repeat that. You are a problem. Yes, you are part of the problem that you are having, that you are currently experiencing, but you are also your own solution as well. So one of the first things that I want you to think about, to ponder, to ask yourself is, what more could I be doing to feel like I live an awesome life. Yeah, what could I be doing more to feel like I am living an awesome life? How can you show up and say yes to you having an awesome life? Another thing that I want you to think about is when will I make myself a priority? When will I make myself a yes in my life? When will I consistently do the things that scare me? How am I gonna actually show up and say yes to me? Am I gonna show up and say yes to me going to ask that guy out online right now? Am I gonna go up, or am I going to show up and say, you know what, I am worthy of that raise at work and I'm gonna go and ask for it. How are you consistently going to show up and say yes to the things that scare you, including the tough conversation, including the I love you's, including the going to hug your spouse, the, including the hugging yourself, including giving yourself permission to be who you want to be without fear, no matter what the judgment will be. Showing up and giving yourself permission to stand, to be, who you truly want to be, to create the person that you want to be, that you want the world to see. What if you stop sweeping things under the rug? What if you decided to have all of those tough conversations that you know need to be had because your relationship will be so much smoother if you just stop sweeping things under the rug? What if you decided to show up for yourself this year and say, you know what? I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of the way that I look in my physical body. I don't like it. I actually am sick and tired of turning away from the mirror or walking past it as if I can't see the mirror over here. I'm just steadily walking past it. What if you decided to say enough is enough? This is the year yes for myself. What if you did tackle every tough conversation, no matter how uncomfortable it made you? 
What if you decided to say, you know what? I am going to write down all of the conversations that has been plaguing our relationship or that has been plaguing me, that has been plaguing me as a parent, that has been weighing me down from all of the junk that I still have in here. And maybe I'll go have the conversation with my spouse. Maybe I'll have the conversation with my children or child. Maybe I'll have the conversation with my sibling. Maybe I'll have the conversation with my parents because I'm sick and tired of feeling this way. Or just maybe you decide to say yes and show up and journal all of that stuff just so you can release it. So instead of your shoulders or wherever you carry your tension, mine is in my shoulders. And so instead of your shoulders being like this, after you've written all that stuff out, you can physically relax them. You can release all of that junk and you can show up for yourself because you notice you want to be a better person. You notice you want your relationships to be so much clearer. Clarity, having clarity, being heard, being understood, being seen. Wouldn't you like to have a life like that? Don't you want to stop being scared and show up for yourself in the best way possible? Aren't you tired of living and showing up as an imposter in your own life? What if you stopped blaming your spouse, if you do have a spouse or partner, for everything that has gone wrong? How much better could your relationship be if you actually stood in your mess and took responsibility for everything that you have done, regardless if your spouse or partner takes responsibility for their mess? What if you showed up and said, you know what? I actually did mess that up. You know what? We got a divorce because it was my fault. We broke up, it was my fault. And then list the reasons why it was your fault. How much better would you feel as a person? How many of those same mistakes would you actually make? I can tell you how many. Zero. Because you have now stood in your ish and said, I did these things. You have accepted the fact that you have done those things. And you can't change them, sis. You can't change them, bruh. So why not just accept it? What if, what if, what if you said enough is enough and you decided to take action? I'm sick and tired of having 30 pounds on me extra. What if I woke up every day and did something small every single day? What if I got up and did 20 to 30 burpees every single day which is one of my most hated exercises but what if I decided what if you decided to just get up and do that one small thing that's gonna change your life around it has to start what if you decided to say you know what I'm actually going to apologize to each and every person that I have wronged that I know that I have wronged I'm just gonna apologize I'm not looking for them to say I forgive you I'm looking for me to be a bigger, for me to be a better person, for me to be the best version of myself that I can be in this lifetime, with no exceptions, not blaming anybody, not putting it off on anybody, me and you taking responsibility for each and everything that you have done. What if you said enough was enough and you took action behind it? What if you accepted that you are a part of the problem? Already, I've been saying that, but I want to make sure that you get this. What if you said that you were a part of the problem and then actually started to do something about it so you can change things around so you can stop being a part of the problem? What if you were more present with your kids, with your spouse, with yourself? What if? What if you said yes to investing in changing your life, changing all of your relationships? How different? would your life be in the next year in the next few months if you decided to say yes to changing things completely around in your relationships including the relationship with yourself because that's where it has to start if this sounds like something you are ready to jump on board with with changing your entire life around changing your entire relationships around and it's starting with you first reach out sis reach out bro I am here to help you to change your entire life around. If you're on 
YouTube, send me an email at marshawn at marshawnolanio.com. That is in the description box. If you're on YouTube, hit me up. I'm sorry, if you are on Facebook, hit me up in Facebook Messenger. Or you can also send me an email at marshawn at marshawnolanio. If you are ready to change your life around, if you are ready to change your relationship around, if you're sick and tired of being on the fence and you want to show up, be the best version of yourself, if you want to change around your entire relationship and stop having all of the excuses, then reach out. If you want to make yourself a priority, put yourself on your own list, reach out. If you want to learn how to take care of yourself, that self-love, that self-care, reach out. If you want to learn how to love your spouse the way that he or she needs it, not the way that you want to just give it to him, reach out. I got you. I got you. Reach out. Let's talk. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. What if you did something drastic, something that would change everything around for you for the better?